DNA made easy. That's what today's video is going to be about. But before that, let me welcome you to the channel, Biotech Lucas. Please, if you find anything useful in here, like and subscribe. I'm posting twice a week, Thursday and Sundays. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. You've probably heard about DNA before. Maybe you're even familiar with this shape. Hopefully you see the similarity to something you've seen in your life. The DNA molecule can be quite complicated, but it's actually not that difficult. As usual, let's start with a definition. So DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It is defined as a nucleic acid that contains the genetic code. It is also defined as deoxyribonucleic acid, a self-replicating material which is present in nearly all living organisms as the main constituent of chromosomes. It is the carrier of genetic information. So, unless you're smarter than me, you find that definition a bit confusing. So, let's try to break it down a bit here with my pictures. But first, the DNA molecule actually exists in every single cell you have. And as you can imagine, you have quite a lot of cells, so it's quite a lot of genetic code to go around. And uh, what I'm going to break down here with you today is the fundamentals of its structure mainly. Because if you know its structure, you can actually read it. That is, you can read genetic code and you can see how it actually works, which we, we are going to take a look at in later videos. But on this video, I want you to focus on just understanding the structure and later on these guys over here, the nitrogenous base pairs when we get there. So first we have the DNA molecule, which exists in its double helix format. If we unwind that, we get the stepladder model, which is basically this, instead of having it like a spiral staircase, it's just parallel. And uh, you're gonna have the sugar phosphate backbone on the sides and holding it together is gonna be the base pairs. And that's gonna be the two fundamental parts or the two complementary parts. We're gonna have the sugar phosphate backbone and the base pairs, and that's what's gonna keep the whole molecule together. And the base pairs are very important again, because those are the genetic code. Now, if you were to zoom in on this structure, you would find one DNA molecule. And one single piece of DNA molecule consists of these three parts, which is the deoxyribose, which is the sugar part, a phosphate, just a normal phosphate, and a nitrogenous base. And there can be four different types of this, and this is the really important part. It can be adenine, which binds to thymine, and it only binds to thymine, also shortened as only A, which binds to T, as well as cytosine, which binds to guanine. So you're gonna have Adenine, which binds to thymine, A binds to T, and guanine, which binds to cytosine, G binds to C. And now we can move back to this stepladder model, because, well, look at that. I've actually color-coded this already. So what is this going to be? It's going to be adenine. Or, more simply put, this is just going to be an A. And we know A always binds to what? Check it out if you're unsure. T, right, that's correct. Very good, very good. So here we're gonna have T, which stands for thymine. And moving along, we're gonna have another T, and so on and so forth. Here we're gonna have cytosine, which binds to guanine, so we're gonna have C, G, G, C, A, T, C, G, G, C. And this is really important. And you might say, Lucas, this is really simple. And yeah, you're right, it is. If you would go into more detail, I could make it complicated. But for now, this is the real the fundamentals. This is really what I want you to learn. You'll get surprisingly far if you know this part. So just focus on learning this. So try yourself. If I say uh, A, C, C, T, what's the complementary base pairing? What are the, the nitrogenous bases on the other side gonna look like if we put, I'm gonna write it down so we remember. A, G, C, A, G, C, T, T, C, G, A. 
how's it gonna look on the other side? What is it gonna bind to? Well, let's do it together. The A is gonna bind to a T, the G is gonna bind to a C, the C is gonna bind to a G, T to A, A, G, C, T. Look, you read it. Fantastic. And we're only like six minutes or something into the video. So yeah, good job to you. You just successfully learned how to read DNA. And this is the stuff, this is the genetic material which makes up your entire body. So quite a feat. Now, when it comes to how the body actually uses the genetic code, the DNA, to first of all copy its cells, it, its already existing cells, and produce more of, say, different proteins and, and uh, different amino acids. Well, first it produces amino acids and then it produces proteins. We're gonna have a look at that for a later video. But I think this is going to be enough for this video, and then in the next video we'll go more in detail what this translates to and what is produced then. Okay guys, so hopefully you find this tutorial helpful, and as always if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, I'll be there to help. And uh, if you found this useful, please leave a like and comment. Thank you, bye.